Hey everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 2, 3, I don't know which day this is. I mean, it's December 3rd, so technically it's the third day of Vlogmas, but it's our second day of filming, so yeah, we'll see. Anyway, welcome back to Secret Life of Derp. My name is Becca, for those of you that do that know, and this, the one that just walked away, that is Jokiel, that is my service dog, and we are here for Vlogmas. And it's not even really Vlogmas, it's not really Vidmas. Uh, NJ of Paul's and Luck, who I mentioned in my first video, and it is linked down below to their channel, um, called it Train Miss, or Training Miss, or something like that, which was a super cool, um, I guess, play on words, since what I plan on doing is just having it be uh, just a bunch of training sessions with him for the next show you guys but I may end up doing like some vlog styles I don't I don't know maybe do some Q&A's or some stuff if you guys have any cues I will give you some A's leave them down below and then I will make that into a video too so today that guy that keeps walking away and I are going to be teaching you guys how to do um, a retrieval and like picking things up because what Jeffiel helps me do a lot is he helps me do things because I can't bend over um, well, I can, but if I bend over, um, a lot of the time if I stand back up, I get really dizzy and lightheaded and I pass out, which is not a good thing. So I will be teaching you guys how to teach your pups to do a forced retrieval, and I'm going to try and do it with him with um, this beef esophagus that's still in the wrapper, so hopefully he doesn't like try and eat it. It is a treat, but hopefully he doesn't try to eat it. The best way to do this is with um, a PVC pipe. I don't know where mine went, so we're just going to use that. That's what I got on hand. Um, ooh, I might do this instead. This is a teacher pointer. I might use this instead. We'll see. So let's go ahead, let's get started, and we'll see how this goes. just ran away um, so this is Jeffiel uh, this is this is my service dog so this is who we're using you also need some treats since he is super food motivated I can even use his kibble and I have some um, this was a sample pack I got from uh, who's this from this is from Canada so this is just what we've been using but you can use any sort of treat that helps your dog stay focused and then you're also going to need something for them to try and pick up so like I said I've got this like teacher pointer thing and then a beef esophagus, I'm gonna see which one works better because I don't have a PVC pipe, but I do recommend a short PVC pipe. Lots, good boy. And then you also want a clicker. I don't know where my clicker is, so I just have a squeaky part of a toy. Things first is you're going to teach them how to hold. He already knows how to hold these, so this is gonna be really simple and easy for him. So you're gonna tell him to take it, and then you're going to hold her mouth shut, and then give the command, Gryphon. You're gonna hold their mouth shut, click, and treat. Good job. And at this stage, when you are trying to do the click and treat, it's okay if they drop it when you give them the command of the release word. I have cat hair up my nose, guys. It's really gross. And I'm trying to keep the antlers on him. These are not dog antlers, these are people antlers, but he looks adorable in that, so we're gonna use those. So let's try it again without the antlers falling in his eyeballs. Like I said, he already knows how to pick up and hold things, so this is a little easier for us. Jump yeah. Hold. So again, have it in their mouth. Hold their nose closed. Uh-uh. Hold. No. Hold. 
You can pat the top of their nose. Hold. Yes, good boy. And then when they do the good thing, you click and then treat. The purpose of clipping, clipping, purpose of clicking is so that they do positive association with when I hear the click, I get a treat. That's a good thing I did the proper thing. So let's do it again. Hold. And when they are holding, you want to be able to pull on it without them letting go. Yes, good boy. Good boy, Zitz. My little reindeer. My little jingle reindeer. Who's the bestest reindeer? Oh, who's the... <laughs> good boy, Zitz. Good boy. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Seats. No. Yes, good boy. Hold. So again, try it again. Hold their nose. And then you just want to let go and see how long they'll hold it. Again, pulling on it. Yes, good boy. And then you want to start with asking them to pick it up. Do you feel? Good boy. Yes. Boy. So I'm starting with holding it in my hands and asking them to pick it up. So when in off when introducing the the retrieval command, when you have it in their mouth, you want to introduce the word for picking it up. So ours is Greifen, which is German. So he ran away and lost his antlers in the process. And see, he already knows the routine. So, uh -uh. so he's trying to get it. And also you saw the nomming he did when he had it in his mouth. You do not want them to nom on it because you're having them pick something up that is, hold, that is, um, uh, uh, hold. If you're having them pick something up that could be potentially dangerous, like if they're picking up your keys or if they're picking up your pill bottle, you don't want them chewing on it and then potentially breaking it or their teeth. Yes, good boy. So again, you'd hold it out for them, offer their word. Jofia, grab it. Boy. Griffin? Yes, good boy. Griffin? No. Good boy. Alright guys, so that's basically it. So I'm going to show you... Yeah, that's basically it. I was going to show you guys how I have him pick up my laundry. I might have him do that later on in a different clip. But for now, that's it for this part of the training. If we have any more additional training for retrievals, I will show you guys. If not, be sure to hit that red subscribe button so you guys can stay tuned to everything we got going on on this channel for train miss or vlog miss or vid miss or whatever I'm calling it. And be sure to hit the bell. So we'll see in your inbox every time we post. Give us a great big thumbs up and happy holidays, guys. I'll see you all in our next training session. Bye, guys.